So I just finished my uh, Saturday night live stream, and in the middle of the live stream, um, I bought something insane. I bought a Lego Movie 2 direct-to-consumer set for $382 um, on eBay. I cannot wait for it to get here. Oh my god, it's a beautiful set. So this is what I bought. Uh, it says 450 but I got it for 382 because there's a 15% off coupon. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to get this. So my, th I have a theory for how these are getting out early. I'm not going to share it now because it's still a work in progress theory. But I'm pretty concrete on how it works and why someone has this set so early. And like, I, like I, I think I know. I, I think I'm on the, the trail here. So I've, I've put some pieces together quite literally. Uh, and uh, I think I know what's going on. So we're going to find out soon, I promise. So I wake up this morning to a post on Instagram that tagged me and it was $6 battle packs on target.com. And so I bought 30 of them of the Imperial Patrol Trooper battle packs. And then I also bought a bunch of creator sets. You'll see those when they come in the mail this week. Oh my god, I just went ham there. They had Target had an incredible sale. You won't see this before the sales over, but let me see if I can pull open their app here. They are having a nut job sale on a bunch of Lego here. So we just, we'll just search Lego Star Wars. I'll show you some of the stuff here. We have C low price and cart sets. $13 for the Resistance Bomber. That is nuts. $58 for the Resistance, or I said Resistance Transporter there. This is a Resistance Bomber. Um, yeah. $58. I almost want to buy another one. It's a really good set. <laughs> it really is. I bought a bunch of, uh, of buildable figures because the 30% off that's a cartwheel offer and it stacks with the already low price so $25 plus another 30% off was just stupid um $35 for an $80 set the wrath tar escape this is decent sale uh, I almost want to buy this because I don't have it however it looks like it's out of stock but maybe I get it at a, at a local store I don't know $41 for that though not bad um uh, no one wants that all right scrolling down we had a really really good deal this one was 47 the crate i know you can't see the price there 30 dollars plus 30 percent off bought that 18 bucks about these two buildable figures there and then i didn't buy that <laughs> um scrolling down we should have i'm looking for like one more thing here the big kahuna the big buy where is it at it's all the way down i was this is where i was worried because it was down this far the six dollar battle pack oh my god about 30 of those so yeah that's coming anyway that's just what i wanted to uh kind of show you guys what happened this morning so yeah you guys probably missed out on this deal or you saw this deal and you took advantage of it but i think you left it They are having quite the sale here. However, it's not quite as good as it is online. $28 is almost tempting. I don't even know if that's like you're allowed to do that. <laughs> Very weird. Huh. I got some stuff coming in the mail. I'll show you guys what I picked up because I had to do some stuff as in-store pickup because it was one of them was like a cartwheel that was like, you have to do in-store pickup to get 30% off. I was like, all right, I'll do that. And I got some like gifts for my, my mom and I got to get some stuff for my dad. But that's, uh, that's what we have right now. You want a good start on the road? You play action and get a guy open by 15 yards. Tom Brady can hit. Hogan's gonna be here. One of these two has to guard them. They're both caught looking in the backfield and nobody runs with them. I'm live streaming on Twitch with uh, Jared, aka Creation Clones, aka Aimless Terror, aka Aimless Terror underscore. I now have subscriptions. Jared was my first Twitch subscriber, so he's a. Uh, they can't hear you. I have my headphones on. But yeah, he's, he's a number one fan. <laughs> anyway, we're, uh, we're killing it tonight. That's how they bring mail around during the holidays. They have a, they literally have a golf cart. It's, it's kind of cool. There's no better feeling in the world than a full gas tank in a nice cool 69 degree day. He's listening to our podcast. <coughs> He's been caught. He's a fan. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> Word on the street. Word on the street is Dollar General has Lego, so we're gonna 
find out if they have Lego. 25% off. No Lego at this one. Huh. Well. This is Jared's keychain. He's got Groot legless, some random legless minifigure, and then another random. Captain America. <laughs> How long have these been on there? This one's been on the longest. The Captain How long America. is the longest? Uh, like, how many years are we talking? Probably end of high school, so 2016. That one's like probably 2016, and that one's Infinity War. So how did you like just lose year. the legs, though? I don't know. They just fall off. I didn't know that. They really just fall Get off. Get some glue. No. So I'm reading comments on my uh, black VIP card review, and of course it's lost now, but somebody did tell me to uh, flip the VIP card upside down in the holder, just like I had it on my hat, and I'm like, dude, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I think of that? So you know who you are. Unfortunately, I lost your comment there at some point, but you know who you are, and I thank you for your suggestion. Uh, that is just so smart there. So that'll be like that on display now in the background of a lot of my videos. <laughs> Watching Greg's sticker stream over here. Those cars have a lot of stickers. But uh, yeah, the lego.com website has put available this Star Wars box that's been available on eBay all day. Um, on eBay, they've been going for just stupid money. 57 is the cheapest. Early this morning, 100 was the cheapest, and I put in some offers for like 50 But the price has slowly, slowly crept down. It, this one was 60 and then someone put it up for 59.99, and then this guy changed his price to 57 I found that really funny. But yeah, the price has been creeping down. But now it's on their website. You can get it for free with a purchase over $75 or more. So I'm just going to buy something instead of spending. $50 on it. I think it's freaking crazy. So you get these, which were just old promo figures from like May the 4th. So May the 4th is sham now. It's it's pretty much pointless to ever buy anything on May the 4th because you can just get it at a later date. Like all these promos were like, like to get all these promos separately when they were available, you probably had to spend like $250 like between everything to get these for free. But now you get them all for $75 at once, which is stupid. This was a black VIP part card promo giveaway too. So that's not very exclusive. I don't no, this would be something that I would consider cool for a black VIP card because it's like a black box, right? Like that would just kind of make sense, but no, they're just giving it to everyone. Not that I particularly want this because as a black VIP card member, I'm a big Lego Star Wars fan, so I already have all these, but I want this box just so I can, I don't know, I do a lot, I've been doing a lot of rant things lately, but we're going to do it again because I don't care. Oh, well. So we need to buy something that's over $75. I'm, I'm really, I really don't want to spend that much money. Maybe we'll get something cool. All right, after quite a bit of back and forth, I think I'm going to go with a TIE Fighter. I just, I, I went over, picked my TIE Fighter up, and I was like, I want another TIE Fighter. So I, I'm going to get another TIE Fighter, I think. And then we also have the First Order Specials Battle Pack there to get us over the 75 threshold. $90. Yikes. So I just found this uh, Death Star 2 on Craigslist for $350. It's a couple hours north, or maybe like an hour and a half north of me max, because that's like 45 minutes, so that makes sense. But yeah, it's he says it's complete, and he inventoried it, $350, like that's a steal. So I might get that. I'm also on the phone with the Brick Vibe. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Wow, classic. So we'll see if this turns into anything in the vlog. Ryan has entered the chat. Oh my God! Ryan, Greg. I'm upset you didn't give me a you didn't give me a yes or no. <laughs> I think you, I think Ryan's answer was sort of a no though. He's sort of like no. Yeah, Greg. Uh, the the UCS Money and Falcon is uh, six hundred dollars. The title of the stream is six hundred. I, I am laughing at the title. It's six hundred dollars on Walmart.com. So his thing is, please talk me out of this. Oh my God, this is gonna be this is gonna be a stream. I mean, I really just need bags one through four. That'd be epic if somebody was selling that. But Greg decided not to buy it. He saved his six hundred dollars. <laughs> What a stream. So if you guys have seen any of my haul videos lately, you've noticed I have kind of a different style than a lot of other people. I kind of do it as I get the boxes, and there's a flaw to that, and that's when I have to make a thumbnail. So I need all of these things so I can make the thumbnail for the haul video. I can't find my stuff. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I don't know where I put everything, and there's a lot of boxes here. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to rethink this strategy here. There's sh Okay, so I see I wrote on that one, so that's some of the stuff I need. But there's still a lot more stuff I need. Yikes. All right, so I've just sanded down uh, some bits on the table. You won't be able to really tell on camera, but there are parts that like poked up. Now it's just a smooth, flat surface, which is what I need. Uh, the paper's about to go up for speed builds, and it, it's working in a slightly confined space. I'm going to have to cut the paper a little, I think, because, well, 
it's it's gonna get caught on that or it's gonna get caught on that and it doesn't work and i have to cover that so i'm gonna figure this out here in a minute the infinity background is back in business oh my god i can't believe this is back we have the pre-christmas empty shelf syndrome it's happening which means 2019 sets are coming soon too but a lot of empty shelves Alrighty, it's a beautiful Thursday morning and it's story time because the post office, you know, you know how it is, the post office. So, Saturday, December 15th, Ash and Flash ships a package to me, three day shipping, that's why I paid for it. And right, you would expect maybe it doesn't ship out till Monday. At worst case, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days, one, two, three, gets here on Wednesday. Today's Thursday, remember that. Maybe worst case, something happens, a little hitch in the system, gets here today, Thursday. No, the whole time it was scheduled for next Monday, dude. That's like seven days, eight days, nine days since he shipped it. And that's still like six business days. That's ridiculous. However, it gets worse. So this morning, Thursday, December 20th, I wake up, check my tracking, like you do, because it makes it get here faster, right? Check my tracking, it tells me my package has been forwarded to a different address because the label was written wrong or something. I checked the label, because he sent pictures of everything, because he's, he's the best. Perfectly written! I have never seen better handwriting in my life, that is exactly my address, exactly written like you would type it out on a goddamn computer with just the perfect font that you you, you can read, it's the most legible thing I've ever seen. And I, I am beyond myself, I'm going to the post office right now, we're gonna find out what the hell happened to my package. So they're going to email the post office in Illinois that has it, and I'm going to call them. It's weird. I So the packing slip that Ash and Flash sent me a picture of looks perfect. However, the picture of the slip that they have in their system is faded as hell. Like, you can barely read the address, if at all. So that seems to be the issue, is that the address on the actual package is faded as crap. Don't know how it happened or why, but uh, it is really hard to read it. And like, you can't make out some of the numbers and stuff, so. You guys know what this is. Although I'm gonna have to repackage just the box in there. because I'm doing a massive mystery haul and I wanna have this in the mystery haul. So I'm gonna have to repackage this um, and reopen it on the haul video. But it's just for the effect of the video, it'll be cool. So it's 2.13 and I just got this here. Um, I do need to go to the gym with my buddy Eric and then when I get back, I'll begin the process of building. I might even start a live stream early on my channel and then finish it on Brick Vibes. That's the plan. Um, just an incredible set. I cannot wait to get this open and start building. Ooh, baby, this thing is, it's gonna be sick. So get into this very soon. All right, so Target went well. I got my extension cord. Now we're at LA Fitness, gonna hit the gym and then go back home and build all night. Working on my thumbnail for my live build. I just got the set in the mail, obviously, and I I don't know, It's I wanted to do the live build at five, but I wanna to go to the Barnes & Noble because my friend Matt found new 2019 sets of Barnes & Noble, so I wanna go check mine, it's not that far away. So maybe I'll run there and I'll start the live stream at 5.30, then I have a brick live stream at seven. It's gonna be a busy night, but hopefully I'll get that done. Looks like they have buy one, get one 50% off, but I don't really need anything. So, no 2019 sets as far as I can tell. I just don't recognize some of them, but oh well, back home. So funny story, I, you know, I just went to Barnes & Noble, it was a bus, there was no 2019 sets, but I accidentally set my live stream to start at 5, and so people are in my live stream chat, chatting it up, there's like 100 people waiting, and I, like my friend texted me, he's like, they're getting restless, and I'm like, what are you talking about? My live stream doesn't start till 6, and I'm like... Oh no. So I accidentally put it for an hour earlier than I intended to start. It's still 45 minutes till six o'clock, it's 5.15. So I'm going home right now, I'm almost home. I'm gonna change it up to six o'clock. I'll hopefully start early, but I'm testing a new setup for my live streams in my garage. So I have to plug a ton of stuff in out there and make sure it all works before I can start. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry if you are one of those affected by this absolutely terrible disaster, but I'm working to get it fixed. <laughs> All right, we are just about set up for the live stream. I gotta test the lighting in this area, but other than that, we should be about good to go. I might actually throw 
as I knock down my thing. I might throw a couple of these light bulbs in somewhere to make the, the, the light a little brighter in here, but we're gonna go for it here. I think the stream is just about ready. I just wanna get rid of some of that yellow light from the... So I spent all day working on videos. It's like 4.30 p.m. right now, and uh, I got my speed build for Apocalypseburg edited. I need to film my review when I get back. Uh, I'm going to get food right now. I edited a Brickheads, all Brickheads video. I built the rest of Apocalypseburg. Like I have done way too much work today. So we are gonna go get some food and then come back and do a lot more work until like 3 a.m. again. So it's gonna be great. I got a lot of videos to film, a lot of videos to record. Busy time of the year. I swear this team doesn't even care. It's just pathetic. Every goddamn game. They should be so much better than this. So remember how like 20 seconds ago I said I'd be working till 3 a.m.? Well, here we are, it's 3 a.m. I've edited and I'm uploading my review of that. I have to do the thumbnail for it. I am just about done editing this vlog. This is the last piece that needs to go in it. Basically my whole Saturday is gonna be busy. That's why I had to get this done Friday night. I feel like I'm starting to get sick, which isn't good. Like I got that feeling in my throat. I'm legitimately worried that uh, it ain't looking good for me, so. Hopefully I'm not sick when I wake up. I'm really worried about that. But if you guys did enjoy this week's m &R vlog, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you have anything to say, of course, leave in the comments section below. And I'll catch you all next week on the next vlog on the vlog channel. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody.